Good morning everyone and welcome to Tortola. Today we're on the Disney Fantasy and we're doing something a little different, something we haven't done before. Today's day and all this video is all going to be about the experience we are about to have on this amazing island, on the Disney Fantasy, on an amazing Disney cruise. But what I want to show you today is an excursion. Now this is actually my first Disney, outside of Castaway Key, excursion ever. And we're going to what's known as Virgin Gorda. Now here in Tortola, Virgin Gorda is an amazing place, really the place to see when you're in Tortola. Now we've got Devil's Bay, which we're gonna see today, which is supposed to be super unique. It's part of the uh, Day at the Baths again. So there are two different excursions, Virgin Gorda or Day at the Baths. Day at the Baths is the longer one. It's like a six hour excursion. We're gonna be out on this island for six plus hours. Just going around, taking these boats, going on little open safari trucks. It is going to be so, so cool. Again, did it through Disney Cruise Line. So it's their excursion, and they're kind of working with another company who's here on the island to show us this amazing place. It is going to be so much fun. I'm super excited to share all of it with you. Our first non-Castaway Key excursion ever. Are you ready? Are you sure? Let's do it. Aboard the beautiful Disney Fantasy Norwegian Gem next to us over there, and we can see the amazing port of Tortola. Now, our excursion starts in just about 30 minutes, and when I say start, it means we have to go to a certain location, actually the Walt Disney Theater on board the Disney Fantasy. Just looking at these little boats now before we head over there. Okay, we've checked in at the Walt Disney Theater. I have a Mickey sticker on right there. It indicates that I'm in the Mickey group as we're getting ready for our day at the baths. Just getting here about uh, 10 minutes prior and then we'll be on our way. All right, we're now making our way out. They're telling jokes as we're going, headed toward the excursion on deck one. We're not allowed to bring any fruits or muffins, so I ate the banana and there's a tiny piece of muffin left, but that's an important point. No, no things like that on the island. All right, Disney Fantasy, we'll see you real soon. The Mickey group, as you can see right there, is making their way to the baths. Today, the Disney Fantasy is parked next to the Norwegian Gem. We're actually larger than the Gem. It's a bit of an older ship. Love that Disney fantasy. Welcome to Tortola, British Virgin Islands. We're about to step on board that little boat right there as part of this adventure. All right, this indicates right here that we are headed on that boat right there to Virgin Gorda and the Bath. Now this boat trip will take us just about 45 minutes to get to where we're going. There it is, waving goodbye to the Disney fantasy as we're on this little boat right here. The sea breeze with a lot of other guests. Got a nice view over here. Take a 45 minute trip to Virgin Gorda. And off we go on our adventure. You have no idea how exciting this is to be on that excursion here at uh, Tortola. It's our first one ever, not Castaway Key. I love this, I already love it. We haven't made it very far, I'm already loving it. Waving at the tender boat right there as it passes by the Disney Fantasy and the Norwegian Gem. You can see we got a really nice looking uh, ship over here we're gonna pass by. Look behind us here, that's St. Thomas. I cannot see the Disney Fantasy at all. Oh my gosh, we have gone so, so far. Unbelievable, and I love the views here. Another look at this unbelievable place. This is Virgin Gorda. Again, uh, I, I've already forgotten some of the fun facts, but it's amazing to learn about. Look at the color of the water here. Like this light turquoise blue into the dark blues. Our ship is somewhere out there. It's hard to imagine. And we are now about to get off on this amazing island. Wow, I just love it. Oh my God. We have made it. Look at our safari vehicle here. We're gonna go and take a little tour around Virgin Gorda before we make our way to uh, Devil's Bay, and there are places we've got to see. Oh my gosh, so cool. Interesting to see people walking on the road, and we're actually driving on the wrong side of the road. You notice we're on the left, usually we're on the right, because we're at British Virgin Islands. They, they drive on this side. So interesting to see, look at this. Now we're at the central meeting place here where they're gonna brief us on what we're doing next. Okay, we've got our information. We're gonna go on a lot of walks. We're gonna do in the Devil's Bay. We're gonna be going under rocks and all sorts of crouching and special things to see. But we're first we're using the restroom, which is located here. And then once we make our way, there's no restroom until we get to the next beach. So really well thought out. All right, we are just about to get started here. Look at those boulders. Look at the water. Look at all the islands. It's amazing. All right, so we're gonna yeah, I think our tour starts here. We have to uh, find uh, the, the end of the line tour guide. He's going to uh, be behind us and lead us on our way. I can't wait. Let's do it. Now, I want to note prior to this adventure, I got these water shoes, which, I mean, I was looking online. It was like, apparently you're supposed to, you know, it's a good idea to have these water shoes. You can only go into uh, this very special cave, the Devil's Bay area, with water shoes or barefoot. Well, yeah, no sandals. So I'm glad I got these. Great for like a little hike as we're going to do on the sand here. And then uh, get on into the baths. Let's do it. All right, the baths, National Park. Look at those. Uh, cactus is right there. Let's make our way. Beautiful. A great picture spot right here. Definitely don't want to miss it. Again, these trails, you got to be real, uh, real smart with the shoes you wear. Be really thoughtful with those shoes for this adventure. But look at that. Pictures don't do it any justice at all. Wow. Look at these rocks right here. Oh my gosh, we're just in the middle of the pathway and it just continues going on. 
here's one of those boulders we were talking about before. Look at it. Look at the size. This is like a baby one, too. I just imagine the earth, I'm guessing, push this one up into uh, onto the island. It's, it's got to weigh a, a ton. Just, just a ton. There are more cactuses. Hard to describe the peace in uh, in this island here. It's even, <laughs> there's even areas for us to sit down and relax. It is a national park here in British Virgin Islands. We're walking through, tour guides ahead of us and behind us. And there's cactuses, there's amazing boulders. There's a boulder on top of a boulder up there. So much to love. There was a gigantic blue lizard. It, it was huge. It was it was big. I can't describe how big it was. It just crawled in there. That was so cool. And we have reached a lookout point here. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this view. Up here, on top of this little pier, look at this. Just look at this. The boulders, the sand, those islands. There's the trailer just on. This is an amazing, incredible, magical view. Oh my gosh. Even over here, you had the other side of where we were just coming from. We walked all the way through there. Yellow flag's basically where we started. Wow. Now I want to show you this uh, trail a little bit. It is a really nice sandy trail. Again, these shoes, like essential, truly essential. But look, we're walking down these rocks a little bit. So there's a little bit of a, you know, a fitness component to it, right? So um, I'm going to give my family's example. My mom would be great at this. My grandmother would love it, but I think, I think she, this might be uh, a little intense for her. So just, I'm just giving you some reference from my family. Everybody, every family is different. Every person is different. But just to give you an idea of what this walking trail includes. All right, we've continued through this trail and now we're making our way to Stony Bay. Oh wait, there's an alternative. We're actually, we're definitely going to the straight ahead. But oh uh, yeah, Devil's Base, right ahead. That's where we wanna go. The Stony Bay would be this way. It definitely looks stony from up there, but I'm pretty sure our tour goes this way. Look at this view. Just take it in for a moment. Imagine standing here with me. This is an incredible place. Just amazing. The boulders over there to our right. The, the water is just beautiful turquoise blue throughout the whole thing. It's a gorgeous spot. Just saw our tour guide halfway down. He's uh, showing us the rest of the way, which is great. And he, he keeps running everyone the same thing. He's like, what time is the bus? What time is lunch? What time are you doing all these things? And it's great. You know, it's, they, they're all kind of on the same team. As we make our way, wow, you got to see this. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Virgin Gorda. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I love it. We have made it to the beach area here yes, with the boulders it. right next to us. We got time to explore and just enjoy. Wow. To give you perspective, to give you just the depth of it, I am standing on a small rock. All right, small rock. There's a big rock. There's a water rock. It's just it's amazing. Just walking through. Just gonna spend the rest of the time exploring. And we're gonna do uh, some crouching for part of Devil's Bay. I think it's in that direction, which we're gonna do in just a bit. But this is, this is beyond cool. This is amazing. Put my bag down and explore. Look at where I'm standing, right here in the water next to the big rock and the beach right there. We can just kind of enter the water away from here. This is an unbelievable place. Hard to describe it. Hard to describe it. I'm just taking it in for a few minutes. A little bit of a tight squeeze as we make our way through. I think we're going to Devil's Bay here. Woo, it's a tight squeeze indeed. Ooh, a little bit of a jump and we made it. We're just, we're just exploring. Check out where I am. I'm standing on this super thin rock right here. My back against another rock right there. Another rock in front of me in my own little miniature pool of beautiful crystal blue water. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. And we've made it to, I, I, I can't talk anymore, it's so cool. Look at the crystal clear water. You can see your feet all the way down. Areas are just swimming and enjoying on the beach. Giant boulders. I, I can't get over it, I really can't. I'm in love with this place. Ladies and gentlemen, look where I am. I'm standing on a rock in the middle of Virgin Gorda. I'm on this rock, I'm standing on it, it's pretty high. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It's it's an incredible feeling to be here. I just love it. I love it. I love the boats docked over there. I love the rocks. I love the crystal clear blue water. You cannot get enough of this, I'm telling you. I've made my way to kind of like a little mini current area here where there's a big cave. Right, let's see if we can get a little, we're getting a little wet. Check out the cave. Welcome to the Cave of Enchantment here. That's what I'm gonna call this one. I'm sure it's got another name. We made it inside this little cave in, uh, in Virgin Gorda. Now we enter the cave that way. We're going to exit through, oh god, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm out, oh, oh. I almost made, oh, okay, ah, it's a, yeah, 
<laughs> several entrances and exits out of the cave of enchantment. Unbelievable here at Devil's Bay. Now I think we're going in that direction because I think it might be time for our next piece of the excursion, which I think is the baths or another hike. Something's going on. Okay, Devil's Bay, it was so much fun. Now, continuing on to the caves and the baths. That's where we're headed. Don't have to enter after 4.30 and there are rip currents. Uh-oh, all right, we'll just stay safe and have fun. As we're walking the trail here, the guide still going. We didn't miss anything. Look at this, look at this cave, right? Oh, is that a bat or it's a bird? Look at that, look at that bird in the cave. It's just an incredible place. Phone got wet, that's okay, it can survive. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is, there's a the line. We're about to go back into it in a minute. This is the baths, or close to it. One of many of these gigantic rock formation areas where the water has pooled up here. It's just a, just incredible. Here it is, look at this. We're not there yet, we're still going. But as we make our way to the baths, we're seeing so much more of this rock formation area. I just love it. Towards this uh, little stairwell here, through the, what are you gonna call that? Devil's Snare, that's what I'm gonna call it. Harry Potter reference. Okay, we are making our way through this little cavern area. You see we got a little rope here. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, they dropped something? Oh, someone else dropped something. Well, we made it through. That's very, very cool. A little rope area here you can hang on to as you go. Again, shoes, critical. That's a bit of a tight squeeze. I might need both hands for this one, but look at this little kind of like skull thing. So you make our way through, ready? Let's do it. The penitent man will pass. The penitent man. The penitent man will pass. I pass! Look at those boulders right behind me as we take this step. There's a lot of bouldering here. But look at that. Just cut right into the rocks there. Beautiful. All right, we're continuing on. A little bit of a line still to the caves and the baths. Here we go, this direction, right here. Check out this rock right here. I'm pretty sure it's coral right here, but that is amazing. Just as we're, I'm just standing here. I'm literally not going anywhere. Look at this coral. It's like baked in there. That is unbelievable. I love that. Here we are, headed on in there. Look at that. No, not quite. Almost, we're headed right in this direction, but really just cool to see these boulders all over the place. One of those uh, dip down moments when we're continuing to boulder through. Bit of a wait here as we're getting ready to go down, but these are the uh, stairs to get down to the baths. I'm very excited for it. When we get in there, Look at the yellow cave we're in here. It's probably made by water, but beautiful. All right, here we go. Making our way down there. Might need two hands for this. Okay, I can do it. Here we are. Walking down these steps, being extra careful. Holding that railing as we make our way down. Just look at this unbelievable place here. You can go in many directions we're walking through the water. Oh, there's an arrow. Just look at this place. Hard to describe. We're inside the baths here. Truly outstanding. These boulder formations. We're going from place to place. Line's cleared up at this point. That was clearly the choke point here. As we make our way across more rope bridges and bouldering. It's just amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's uh, parents making sure kids don't go too fast because it's, it's, I can't describe it. Wow. Oh wow, look at this. Here's our rope on the right hand side. Oh my gosh. Quite an adventure here. I'm gonna take the rope, I may have to put this down in a second. I'm trying to get as much time No, I appreciate it. Rope on the right hand side, and here we go. Fuck, this is amazing. Wow. All right, holding that rope. Oh wow. You guys are coming into what we call the cathedral. You have one more area for how low can you go, Hello. and then you'll be on the back Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I took all sorts of photos right here. This is the cathedral. Now we're going, how low can you go? Apparently some of the coldest water in the British Virgin Islands. Wow. Oh my gosh. We're now in how low can you go? Oh my gosh, I'm going pretty low. I'm going down low. Oh my gosh, all the way to the floor. But now I'm reaching to the top like I never, never stop. I love the bath. Look at this. Check this out. We have made it. Oh my goodness. What a place. Okay, we've made our way to the main baths area where you can just relax for a couple hours here in the shade, gift shop area, food area if we want it. Oh wow, just look at this. We're gonna relax and enjoy the day. Just look at the size of this coral here. It's amazing. As we make our way out into the beach here. I love it. I love all the boats, love all the people, sand. It's incredible. I gotta tell you right now, this is by far the best excursion I've ever been on. Now, I've not been on very many excursions. This will be one of many, 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 many we go on in the future, just because this is so incredible. Yes, there was a little bit of a jam up to get over to the baths. You know, there's a little bit of a line, but my gosh, once you get here, I mean, I love Devil's Bay too, I really did, but this is just, it's an amazing way to see this country. 
It really is. And I, I know there's even more to see of it. So we can come back over and over again to Tortola and see more of it each time, which makes it so fantastic. I love seeing the yachts out there. I love seeing little mini crabs hanging out on the beach. So a lot of people have told me, Michael, sand is sand, water is water. What makes a beach different? I think it's the experience, right? It's the walking through. It's the stories you get to tell as you walk through the, the rocks and the mount mountains that you see all around you and the different islands and the fact that you're just, you're here. And this is just such a special place. So, I don't know. I love it. I will definitely be either doing this excursion again. I probably will in the future, long term. But I want to do even more excursions in the future. I love it. I want to note the sand is extremely soft like super soft how do i describe the softness powder almost there's a bit of shopping there are lockers restrooms everything we could need as we're enjoying our day check this out i'm actually as old as the bath here look at that born in 1990 that's me that's cool as old as it's been declared it's been like here i'm sure thousands of years now in a previous video i talked about the importance of walkie talkies or some kind of uh, you know a loud radio on on board so you can communicate with the rest of your party while on board even more important is an excursion like this to have it because when you're here there's no way we're not getting any signal from the boat at all it's way too far away the ship our fantasy um so having a walkie talkie just in case it gets split up, never hurts. Say someone has to walk off and use the restroom or someone's going to grab something extra, get an extra gift, kind of wanders off. Communication right there. Cell phones are a little difficult because every service provider is different here in the British Virgin Islands, but walkie talkies work everywhere or just about everywhere. Now, while we've got a few extra minutes, we're checking out the top of the baths here, which is Nobody Restaurant, Coffee Bar, Gift Shops, and Freshwater Pool. Check out this view right here with the Freshwater Pool here. When you enjoy your lunch, look at this view, and this is worth coming up here for sure. I cannot believe this. I love it. Freshwater pool and view like you've never seen before. Take a look at this basically aerial view up here of Devil's Bay, the baths, everything from this restaurant. My gosh. I don't know which island is which at this point. A little turned around, but I just love looking at the views. Just incredible. Cool breezes, beautiful sunshine. What a day. What a day in paradise. After sitting back and relaxing for a bit, it's now just about 2 o'clock, 1.55 p.m. And the uh, we have to be back up here by 2.45, I believe. So we've got a little time to kill here. It's nice. We just kind of relax a little bit. I think in the future, doing if I was to do this one again, I would spend more time at Devil's Bay, relax there a little longer, kind of mentally time myself, know the route already. They're kind of arrows that point you the way. Uh, and then uh, and then make my way to the baths from there. Not not just go after about 40, maybe 30, 40 minutes at the baths and then just have more than an hour up here. That's me personally, but uh, overall, this has been a really fantastic excursion. It's definitely a popular spot. You can see there's this gigantic group coming to the baths. I mean, it's huge the number of people who are walking in that trail that we just walked. I'm guessing they're from the Norwegian gem. It's just a random guess. I have no idea how, you know, if I'm even close, but that's a lot of people. Definitely a popular spot. And as we end our day here, we're headed back to those buses for another great tour around the uh, Virgin Gorda area and back to that small ferry. Take, it back, take us back to the boat. This is a little rainbow daycare and primary school that we're passing right here. And then, oh, there's some wild chickens over here by the edu educational center. Here we are back at the Sea Breeze. All right, let's go and experience the way back. All right, Virgin Gorda, it was so much fun. We are pulling away now. We'll be back. I have a very, very strong feeling. We'll be back in the future. So awesome. There's a little catamaran making its way into this port, and guess who's waiting for us? It's our beautiful ship, the Disney Fantasy. And there it is, home sweet home, the Disney Fantasy. We've made it back. Amazing feeling. Now, tipping is not required on these excursions, and, and they, they didn't even talk about it, but I've seen enough guests do it. I have a little something for them. I thought it was just super, super nice. Everything they did, they made it so fun for us. What an amazing adventure. Day at the Baths is one I highly recommend here at Tortola. An amazing adventure. It takes a little bit of time, but it is 100% worth it. Great way to see more of this amazing place. I will definitely be doing it or something like it again. Or maybe I'll just do that one again like in the long term, but I do want to try even more here in the future. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to share this excursion with you. If it seems like an excursion that you would love to experience one day in the future, let us know in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today and a special thanks to our patrons for making it all possible. Until next time, have a magical day. See you real soon.